What's up guys, we're back here and we're back to slay the spire. We're gonna be jumping into the ironclad. He won his ascension one. So he's going on to ascension two where we will read off uh, what's the problem. Uh, ascension two is elite spawn more often and normal enemies are deadlier. So let's see. Uh -huh -huh. Remove a card from our deck, we good. Enemies in three x three combats have one HP. Can we get an elite? One, two, possibly, no, cannot hear. Cannot hear. Cannot hear. So you cannot get one. But this is a pretty good path. You got three fights, two question marks before the elite. Seems like it could be pretty spicy. I don't think we're, I think we're gonna do this, try to get up a good set of cards before we uh, get up to that elite. Um, none of these really scream anything good. I'll take the headbutt. Could be good to cycle around some stuff later. Try to get through some of these. Iron Wave's always pretty good. I, I never have a problem with it. It's always just, I feel like, a well-rounded card. Yes, let's remove a basic strike. Since we added the headbutt and the Iron Wave. Remove a card from our deck. Okay, basic defend. Getting these cuts out early. So we're going into this uh, elite fight, pretty fresh. Not added anything crazy, another iron wave. Do it, to it. Now what we should have looked at is there are two elites on this path. Also I should have played another basic strike over the iron wave. While it may uh, heal us, I mean uh, block us, it does not, uh, do the same amount of damage. It does one less than the normal strikes. Also, we could have bashed instead of playing that strike earlier and got a little more damage. Iron Wave back to the top. Strike. Strike. Because we probably would have been out of this fight if we would have done so. But it's fine. We'll get those nice heals. I say make sure I can kill him before I say it's fine. Ooh! Ice Cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. Okay. Don't know exactly what... <laughs> we know what we're doing that now. So, stall and then super whirlwind? That's what I'm guessing the goal is going to be. I can get behind that. Oh, I was hoping for some sentinel jewels. Deal eight to him. Should be good. Then... Do you go ahead and whirlwind? Do you do anything else? So, that's eight times four... Oh, we should wait. Do we continue waiting? Yes. I was going to say we could hit him for eight and put it, put it on back to the top. No, let's just continue. Slowly building the energy. Now he's awake. Do we have whirlwind? Nope, but we will bash iron wave and set up for 10 damage whirlwind with vulnerability. Eat it, log of Ulan. Nice. Vajra? Starts come out with one strength. So yeah, spot weakness. We're warning strength gain now. So what's the goal here now? Here, shop. Yeah, we'll go on this question mark path. Ooh, paper for egg. Uh, enemies with vulnerable take 75% more, more damage rather than 50. It's really good. Especially since we are going with uh, this uh, whirlwind build. Another spot weakness. Ooh, preserve ink test though. Because this will just not copy for any card in my deck. No, preserved insect is way better. And we'll remove another basic strike. Make this deck more consistent. I uh, anger the mushrooms. This will give us uh, that odd mushroom. Okay. Think about this. Yeah, let's do this. All but one. I thought that was right. I was thinking we could uh, spot weakness first, but I didn't think it mattered. Uh, when vulnerable, take 25% attack damage rather than 50% more. Pretty good. Uh, drop kick could be good. If they're vulnerable, gain one injury and draw a card. We're going to want to keep them vulnerable for the whirlwind. Uh, this is a garbage shot for us, I think. Yes. How the would have been good if we had the money for it. Keep smithing. Spot weakness, I think, is the way to go. 
get that extra damage going. Okay, so drop cake's not gonna do much for us here. I think we will double defend the drop cake. So we got these two poison potions, which could be interesting in that final fight. To uh, let's see, well, uh, to get that slime boss down more. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I think we just whirlwind, I guess. But we have no vulnerable. So I'm trying to debate which is the best way to do this. So this would do 26. We have nothing to block with. So I think we could do just a bash. Cycle back around. We know we're not going to kill him this turn. And I think the vulnerable this turn will probably prove more useful. Yeah. Either way, I think we would have killed. But, you know. Um, draw, I think. Just to uh, get back to whirlwind. And then we will smith again. Drop kick does eight damage. No, I think. How much more vulnerable does this add? One. No, I think we'll go with pummel. Get that draw. We'll try to get our pieces together quicker. Could be pretty sweet. All right, he's not doing this. So hit him with that. I forgot. We also have ice cream. We need to remember that. If there's nothing worth doing. Don't do it. This turn. All right. We need to take him down to 70. Nine times six is around 60. That could do it. Do this. Yeah, 23. I want him as dead to rights as possible. So two with 11. One's dead. Uh, sure. Dead. That's what we like to see. Poison potion. Then double tap, I think. Um, I think Runic Pyramid. That way we can keep the stuff in our hands that we want to keep. Really curate that whirlwind we want to play out. The extra energy would have been really good, but I think we still need a smith. I think we're going to go this way. Um, nothing. If this enemy's not going to attack, we're not going to attack. Oh, but we can't just hold like this forever. But we can't do this. Put that back on top. And then block for what we need to. Do that. Then spot weakness. 17 times 4 is... I think it's close. Very close. Not close enough. I would say we use the poison potion and kill him, but it would not have worked that way. So we need to cut some cards from the deck and not add many more cards. Uh, 85 gold. This work. Centennial Puzzle. First time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Oh, this will be a good one. We could really use something like a uh, uh, a thunderclap. Could be pretty pretty spicy. All right, we'll do that and save the rest. Just pretty much for the block, the damage didn't really matter as much. All right, now what I'm wondering is if I double tap the whirlwind, does it play it twice? I don't remember. So this should be nine times three. No, it plays it for zero. Oh, no, it plays it for three. That's what we want. Okay. Thunderclap is what we want. Get that vulnerability out there at a considerable rate. Hey, strikes do we have left? Only three? No. Not worth it. It's adding cards to our deck. Uh, no, we will fight them. So, what do we want to do? I think we'll just block. Keep what we can. Decks down. Okay. Spot weakness. Thunderclap. Oh, I should have done it in that order. Crap. It's not very good. That'll kill him. Hurt him and give me an energy. 
put Thundercloud back on top. So we're going to take 10. But I don't think it's that bad. Let's see. I need him down. 13. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, we definitely could just use some more energy. Okay, this isn't good. Spot weakness. Thunderclap is 12? Not enough. Kill this one. And then we'll let that one stay. Trying to hold that energy really well. Okay, he's just thinking. Which is fine. Okay. Double tap, whirlwind. Perfect. Then one more good turn. Okay, we want to Thunderclap. Drop kick. Get that extra energy back. Headbutt. Whirlwind. Oh, he's dead. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We still have too many cards in our hand. We need need to keep cutting them. Nothing here. Till we get down to the essentials. Offering. Offering's good. Offering's really good. Just the extra energy is what we want. Mostly from it. To really kick it off. Because now we can... Spot weakness. Offering. Double tap. Whirlwind. And that was really close. And I don't want to take 11 damage, so we're going to just kill him. Sword boomerang. Another iron wave? I don't think we need. I don't think it's necessary. Could be good, but I don't think it's necessary. Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal 3 damage to all enemies. Not bad. Uh, Jax. Special I like. Music strength. Um... Jax could be good, but I think we'll just take the raw turn one damage. Smith. This is more draw, right? I don't think we need that. Um, I think we'll take double tap. Just in case we use it in a non-whirlwind application. So, like now, double cap. Play this twice. I'll play this twice. Give real use of that Mercury Hourglass. Okay, spot weakness. Thunderclap. And we can kill one. Or should we just defend? Well, we'll, we'll do the pommel. Energy. There we go. Bronze. Oh, another offering. Okay. Starting to really stack these. I don't think any of these will be something we want, but we'll look. No. Well, let's see red. Change my mind. I'm just trying to build up energy mostly. Okay. Offering. And we're one. And that's all we need to do. Okay, so we want to spot weakness, apply vulnerability. Oh, that's all we can do. Whoops, should have played Iron Wave. Iron Wave. Okay. Nope. And then I want to upgrade seeing red to make it zero cost. All right. Ooh, we got the champ. Champ, it's gonna hurt a lot. Let's see what we can draw in here. I think spot weakness. Double tapping the iron waves. Will be good. And then I think. No, I was gonna say we could take the two, and say keep the one energy, but I don't think it'll be worth it. And the longer the fight goes on. Thunderclap. Offering. Dropkick. Pummel strike. 
seeing red and then I just want to defend a little bit headbutt spot weakness back on top one two save up three energy we got the whirlwind spot weakness is back iron wave oh we get more frail ouchy 17 times that see what this does well that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would hmm this is gonna hurt should have uh, done a little bit more math okay we will just hold well, if we hold, we won't draw anything, though. Still think we will. Okay. Double tap. Iron wave. Then we'll do the two headbutts. Whirlwind. And double tap back on top. One, two. That's it. 20. Hopefully don't die. Ooh, got close though. And then I think this is what we do. Nice. We did get it. It was real close though. Gotta take the limit break. We need that strength. That's what this build's kind of based on. Velvet Choker. Can we play less than six? I think so. Because the kind of the goal would be to get like double tap, headbutt, whirlwind kind of going in the circle. I think we're gonna hit the shop first after this first fight. Okay, so eight damage coming in. We're offering, yeah, double tap, whirlwind. I think this should do it. Yep. So we just need to remove some more cards, make this more consistent. None of those are any good. Not for this. I think just card removal. Because pretty much we need... We would like ways to empty out our hands more. So maybe later on a Purify to uh, exhaust a bunch of cards. Bash, you're gone. Try to inform you. I'm really sad to see you go, but... Um, buy three potions. Fruit juice, really good. Can I just go ahead and drink? Fire potion. Dex potion. We'll save a lot of these to the end, but... We do have them now. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, let's... Offering. Okay, we need to... They're all defending. Thunderclap. Seeing red. Offering again. We didn't get it. We have pummel, though. So we will get it if we do this right. Limit break. Pommel strike. I can only play six cards in a turn. You suck. But we keep the energy. It's fine. Might even be better this way. And then drop kick. Oh, they're not vulnerable anymore. Oh no. Crapola. You know what I didn't think either is these double played cards count as uh, against our totals. Kind of stinks. So whirlwind happened to be the last card on the deck. Thunderclap. Whirlwind, I think, is all we need. Yep. And flame. Why not? Doesn't seem too bad. We will smith another card. Limit break definitely. Maybe a little better for us. Getting it on the first turn would be even better. Get a rail where. A rare relic. Ah, the ba, the ba. Okay. Flame. A little bit of draw here. There we go. Start really kicking off. Yep. Turn one. Is there anything else I'd want to do? Thunderclapping would be good, but we only got two cards left. So it's going to stop us. It's going to stop us. I think we'll pull Limit Break back. And that'll be it. In turn. Because this now, yeah, nothing's keeping us from doing this. 
this, we should have enough. And boom. Yeah. 22 strength. Yeah. Oh, power pushing would be good. I think we're not going to need the regen. We'll take the power. Another spot weakness? I think it's too much. Our cycles through plenty. I just want to keep smithing. Like, if we're being honest. More cards from offering. That way we can get our pieces in our hand faster. Only problem is dumping the pieces if we need to. Pinip, Great. Uh, Pinip is every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Can you imagine a double damage like Super Whirlwind? <whistles> Pretty good. And we're going to get that Pommel in there. Lemon Break turn 1 is exactly what we want. And get a little bit of defend there. So 11 strength turn 1. Pretty nice. Alright, so. I think we're going to Whirlwind. Offering. Um, headbutt. Put Whirlwind back on top. Then. I'm going to put Limit Break on top. Would have made more sense. Probably would have. Keep this in hand. I think let's just throw out a garbage card. Get it in the discard, yeah. Seeing red. Spot weakness. Whirlwind. Offering to refresh it. We're getting close though to our 10. So we should just play Iron Wave. Headbutt. I think we headbutt. I think the deck had already refreshed. I think it. I headbutted an Iron Wave back on top. I did. Let me break. And double tap. Thunder tap. And then drop kick. Oh, we didn't need to. Nice. True grit. That will really help us curate these hands better. Um, lose 4 max HP. Don't really care about it. Don the red mask. Bunch of gold. Is there a shop? Probably not. Sell all this gold. Just going to hold it. Hoard it like a dragon. Yeah, true grit's going to be really nice, I think. Like, long-term fight-wise. So the goal is going to be to kill these things. Turn numero uno. Okay. Shit. We can't. Oh, that's bad. We're dead? 20. 32. We're not dead, but we might as well be. I keep forgetting about you. Choking me. Okay. Cannot forget... Stupid Velvet Choker. I think this turn is actually just going to be me playing those six cards and not dying. Actually, it's not going to matter. We have 20, 15 strength. None of these. Oh, crap. Return. None of these either. Wanted to double check, though. All right, you. I want you dead. Turn one. It's not going to happen, but it's going to hurt a lot. 40 damage. All we need to do. We don't really want to take that much. So how can we fix this? One. Let's see if we can pummel our way into something good. Alright, we're almost out. He's down to 21. Sort of strongest attack. Oh, waste of a pen nib. But, it needs to happen. I'm not dying to the stupid plant. Healing is way more important for us right now. Yeah, none of those matter. Rest up. Get those Z's. Alright. See what we get here. Um, this could be good. Whenever you exhaust, could be good for draw. Draw a status card, draw a card. He puts... No, I think we'll go with this. Just get extra strength. Already up. Boom. So we'll rupture. In flame. Oh, this dude's not going to be happy about that, though. You're attacking. Oh, we don't need to play the, the other one of these. We will do this. Get that out of here. 
Because we about choked ourselves. Because I about dropped on that other offering. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to get... Early Thunderclap. An early... Like, uh... Trial. Is that the word I'm looking for? Not trial. Oh, crap. I was going to say an early... Like, play of, uh... Freaking, I can't think of the word. Lost card on the deck, but uh, freaking whirlwind, just so we could have uh, dealt with the minions really good. Double tap, whirlwind. Okay. Keep the offering. He's gonna hit hard. I don't think we can block that much either. But I just need to get back to the freaking thing. It's one of the two cards in here? It is. Ha ha ha. How am I going to do? Headbutt. Whirlwind on top. True grid out. Defend. Offering to back. Limit break. Double damage. 92 damage per energy whirlwind. That's a win. Very close, because I bet, I don't think we could have blocked that attack of his. But, that is a run. Ascension level 2 in 27 minutes on the dot. That's pretty sweet. Two nice, uh, 926, one of our better ones. And we will sleep. Victory comes to us. Ascension 3 unlocked. Dang, another victory as the Ironclad. We're raking through his, but... We lost as a defect last time, and we'll probably lose as the silent on the next level one. But guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and want to hit the like button, try it down below. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.